Hi, today I would like to talk to you about SafePay. I'm going to be using Microsoft Dynamics GP 2015 R2 for this demonstration. I'm going to give you a short introduction, talk to you about RAND Group's Business Advantage Support Department, explain what is SafePay, show you the SafePay setup screens, and then do a short demo. My name is Kayla Worley. I'm a Business Advantage Support Senior Associate at RAND Group. I've been helping people get the most out of Microsoft Dynamics GP for over six years. And I have 20 plus years experience in ERP implementation and support. The Business Advantage Support Department at RAND Group can help with a myriad of issues that you might have in your daily operations. We can help with software updates or custom reporting, integrations, or error messages, or even just help you with daily processes that you might need to review with new employees or existing employees. What is SafePay? SafePay is a feature that's built into Dynamics GP that helps companies protect themselves from check fraud. SafePay generates a file for each check run that gets sent to the bank, and in turn the bank uses that file to confirm checks authenticity. It's way easier to protect yourself up front because it's very difficult to try to collect funds from a fraudulent check once they actually clear the bank. So there's several steps to getting SafePay deployed to your live environment. The first step is to obtain a sample file from your bank. Once you have that file, then get the SafePay file format set up in GP, generate a test file to send to the bank, and then work with your bank to make sure that the file is in the correct format and they are able to use it to verify your checks. Once that has been completed, we'll deploy it to live. There are several screens in GP that you'll use to set up SafePay. The first one is the configurator setup. This is where you're going to actually set up each bank format and all of the records and fields needed by the bank. So you may have several formats if you have multiple banks, because each bank might have a little bit different format needed in order to verify your checks. So you may have one of these, you may have multiple ones of these. The next screen is the upload maintenance. This is where you marry the configurator setup with your bank and your checkbooks. And then the transaction upload screen is the screen you're actually going to use when you're ready to generate the file to send to the bank after you've done your check run. So now I'm going to show you a short demo. How you get to the configurator setup is under Microsoft Dynamics GP, Tools, Routines, Financial, SafePay, and Configurator. Now I've already set up one in here for Wells Fargo. So you, you name the bank format, give it a description, and then each one of these is the number of records that the bank requests. Wells Fargo requests two header records, a detail record, and a footer record. So you go set up each one of these, and then you define what fields are going to be in that record. So for the header one, there's seven fields that Wells Fargo requested. To, to see what details behind that field, you'll go in to the field and you'll see the field name, what type of field it is. This happens to be a constant. It's a text with five characters. And Wells Fargo wants dollar sign, dollar sign, ADD to be in um, this field. So then you can go to the next one. The field number two is actually a space. So it's a filler type. and there's one character and the filler type is a space. So you go through each one of these fields and set them up based on the sample file sent from your bank. Once you get all of the records set up, then you save your configurator. The nice thing about this is as you click on each row here, you can see down at the bottom, just above the arrows in the bottom left hand screen, you can see what the actual row is going to look like in the file. So it makes it very easy to compare what's in your sample file that the bank sent to what your file is going to generate. 
So the next screen that we're going to go to is the Upload Maintenance. And it's Microsoft Dynamics GP, Tools, Routines, Financial, Safe Pay, and Upload Maintenance. Again, I've already set up one for Wells Fargo to show you. You'll name the bank load upload ID. You'll pick the configurator format that you set up in the previous step. Select the bank ID, and then you'll add the checkbooks. By adding this checkbook here, you're telling GP that anytime you run a check run from this checkbook, that's going to use the Wells Fargo underscore ARP output format to generate your safe pay file. You actually may have multiple checkbooks here because they may all use the same file format. So you wouldn't have to set up multiple file formats if they're all the same. You can just add multiple checkbooks here. You can see the upload history. So the last time I uploaded was April 12, 2017. This is sample data, so they're a little bit in the future. The number of checks that were in the upload and the check total. So you can see all of that here. Then I'm going to tell it where do I want my file to go when I generate it. So this is the path. Some banks have communication link software or FTP sites for you to upload your safe pay files to the bank. If that's the case, you can click this and fill in where that application link resides or the FTP site. This other feature down here is include EFT transactions. So if when you generate your safe pay file, you want to include the electronic transactions, you can select this as well. And it will include any EFT transactions along with your printed checks. So once you're done with that, then you're actually going to go generate your check run. And I've already generated a check run for you. And so at this point, we're ready to actually upload those transactions and generate a safe pay file. So I'm going to go to Tools, Routines, Financial, Safe Pay, and Transaction Upload. You'll want to pick your upload ID. This, this case is Wells Fargo. And you can see my last upload was 412. So I'm going to click Load. And what this is going to do is bring in any checks for this checkbook ID since the last upload. So I have one here. And once I verify that's the one I want, then I upload and proceed. And it tells me that it's generated the output file. So this confirmation number that it asks for is just a confirmation number that maybe you get from the bank. Some banks, when you upload a file to them, they give you a confirmation number. If your bank does not do that, you can just create a confirmation number yourself. I will typically just use the date and uh, my initials to show that that upload was successfully sent to the bank. I want to show you the file that it generated. So here's the file and you can see that it has the four records that we set up in um, the configurator and it has my check information, West Junction Services. So then I would take this file and upload it to the bank and then they would be able to make sure that when this check clears the bank that it is the correct amount and written to the correct person. So this is a great feature and it does protect from check fraud which seems to be becoming very prevalent these days. So that's the way you would use SafePay to help protect your company. Now I would like to talk about our support plans. We have a, a different levels of support plans that you can purchase based on the number of hours of response time and the hours that you need would like to buy. All of our support is 24 seven. So if you do need a support plan and personalized assistance, please feel free to reach out to us. Rand Group has been around since 1996 and it was part of Heinen Associates originally. We have over 100 professionals, we have a 90% client retention rate, and we have offices in both Houston and the Dallas areas. And we've recently been named one of the top 1% of the Microsoft partners worldwide. So if you would like some personalized assistance, you can reach out to us at info at 
or you can call 866-714-8615 and get connected to one of our great support team members. Thank you for listening today. I hope this was helpful. Have a good day. Thank you.